What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys, and the second upload for today. And I might start doing this just to give everybody a little bit of taste of what they want, guys. But episode two of the Gravity Room is here, baby. And today, in today's workout, we did I did legs. Um, I did some squat. I did some deadlifts. Um, and then I transitioned over to some tricep extensions and finished with um, some uh, cable pull downs for abs. Now. I didn't do a whole bunch of workouts in this video. Reason why is because I did squat and deadlift. That takes a lot out of you. You see what I'm saying? I don't like to just, it, it depends on the type of week that I have. If I want to pile everything into one workout or whatever like that. But with this day, no. So guys, let's jump straight into it. And we starting out on squats. Now, some key points on squat is to make sure that your feet, uh, the shoes that I have aren't the best, uh, but you really want a flat bottom shoe like some Chuck Taylors or something like that. Also, you can see uh, here, see the butt wink. The butt wink is whenever that butt drops just that tad bit uh, going down. That's something that I do need to correct. Uh, that will be corrected. I, I'm getting back in the gym, guys. So it's going to take some time to correct some of these things. And I know some people are going to say, well, DM, you're not going what they call, but I'm going to say butt to grass. I'm not going to say the other word. It's, guys, I love my knees. OK, I'm not in competition. I'm not, uh, it, you know, competing or anything like that. So I'm not concerned with going all the way down like that. Also, you can see my my heels. Um, let's see here. See how my, both of my heels kind of come off the ground? That's because those shoes that I'm wearing. That's why it's important for me to wear flat bottom shoes when I'm doing squats. I'm not wearing flat bottom shoes. It's harder for me to put my weight on the heels uh, and they come up off of the ground, as you can tell, because see that the, the little crease right there in the shoes? See how they already angle up off of the floor? Like that is not good so i'm seeing even me watching this i'm seeing some some things in my technique that i can improve upon and that's great because improvement means that you're able to get more out of your workouts you're able to lift more you're stronger and it reduces the risk of injury so you know and it's amazing i kind of went over a little bit of the footage yesterday and i didn't even notice that till today you see right there i don't have as much of that uh of my heels coming off the ground you do right there at the end whenever i'm getting in that push phase and i, I know why because see when i'm starting to push that way back up i'm kind of getting on the balls of my feet for that extra oomph and i don't need to do that like that's that's not good for you so this is why we watch film this is why we watch ourselves work out and i implore you guys even if you're not making a video to record yourself on your workout so that you can see room for improvement in areas for improvement that way you can look at your form you can see how you're doing now i probably shouldn't have been doing as much weight see right here we went up to 315 uh, i just wanted to touch it i just wanted to see how it felt and i think i did like two maybe three reps i think i just did two you notice that the depth isn't there and i know people are going to say well dm if you can't get that deep you don't need to do the weight that's not true i at these last two sets doing 315 guys look at here photo bomb by my daughter <laughs> i told her i said i'm gonna leave that in there because she's so goofy man but anyway um you still want to touch it even if it's a half squat touch it because what it's going to do is going to shock those muscles into building more see my depth isn't as good and that's perfectly fine because i just want to touch it i just want to touch it so next time my body knows what 315 feels like all right and then here i'm just going back down to 135 uh, just kind of using that to stretch out and stuff like that and see i'm really really noticing it's really bothering me that see right there it's almost like i'm going down i'm going down and when i'm coming up i'm coming up like that and that's what's causing me to raise up up raise up on those heels and like i said shoes play a part in that it's hard to push into the floor the way you need to also uh ankle the uh the ankles where where oh they already gone oh well stretch your ankles guys stretch that that the footing that has a lot to do with that as well all right so now we're doing deadlifts and i really love deadlifts i do deadlifts different ways sometimes i'll go wide sometimes i'll just leave it on the floor and pull it sit it back down 
but here I'm kind of just going in a repetitive type motion. Now it's hard to tell my positioning because the camera is facing directly in front of me as opposed to to the side, but my back is locked. I do have that locked in back, that arch in the back. So I'm not, and I'm not pulling, I'm not doing like that, coming up, pulling like that. You know, I'm just coming straight up and down. You see the knees bending and everything. And I know y'all wondering about the background, man. That is, uh, that's our high school locker room. That's, if I'm not lifting at home, that's where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the Hornets. Um, next set here, we went up to 315 on the deadlift. Previous was 225. Uh, I was nervous. I was nervous because I hadn't done 315 in a while. And it just... It just went up, man. It didn't go up as easy as it did in that video that I posted the other day, but it went up. But the key to this is too, same thing. If you can get you some flat bottom shoes, that's going to help increase you being able to push into that ground. Those shoes have big cushions on the back and they're not ideal for lifting and it throws off your technique. As you saw on my squat, my technique was thrown off and deadlift as well. I didn't feel that push into the ground to be able to get that weight up like I wanted to. And for my last set, <coughs> I went with a wide stance and I know you saw me kind of touching my crotch area, but I was showing you on camera where you're going to feel that, like you're going to feel that in, in that area is where it's going to pull from. Transitioning over to cable tricep extensions. I love these as you can look and see on the tricep. Where is my finger? Let's put me right here, right there. You can see the tricep flexu fle flexuating, flexing. So you can tell what muscle that's working. Okay. And I'm going to put me back here. Uh, so I'm not in the way of the weight. And this was my warm up set. I think I did, I don't know how many I did, either like maybe uh, 10 to 15 reps or something to that degree but that's a good warm up and then i ain't trying to show off i just rolled up my arm sleeve so that y'all can really get a good look at the muscle working notice i'm not leaning all the way forward with the weight notice I'm, i have a good stance i'm not bending my back it's all arms if you cannot do the weight all arms you don't need to be doing the weight that means the weight is too heavy also notice i'm not just going up and down like this i'm controlling the weight down and I'm controlling it up. I don't like the speed that I'm going back up at. I think I could have went a little bit slower, but this is why we watch film on it so we can improve these types of things, okay? This is the third set and I added some more weight. Um, I don't know, maybe it was like 110 or something like that, but I really felt this weight right here. And see me going up, I'm not going past the bottom of my chest. Let me just get my finger ready. So, oh no, I don't wanna move that. Let's not move that, let's move me finger point right there i'm stopping right there at the bottom of the chest because that's going to keep tension on the triceps okay you don't want to come if this is my chest i don't i want to stop here i don't want to come up here with the weight when i when i want to bring it right here that's going to keep tension on that tricep as you can look at my arm and see um it's it's keeping it, you can see that flexation in there throughout the entire lift that means the tension is there and then I get a little fatigued and your technique tend to drop a little bit. So be gentle, guys. I'm just getting back into it. And this is what I ended with. And I love this workout is the um, the ab, the cable pull down with the abs. And once again, my daughter back there doing uh, like, I don't know, was she cheering or TikTok or whatever? I don't know. But my wife, she's there, too. She's back there working out. But I. Um, be careful on these guys if you're doing a lot of weight I, I put a couple of those dumbbells right there on the back because last time the thing liked to fell on me because i had so much weight on there but i like to keep i want to try to touch those elbows to my thighs just like i'm doing and you want to squeeze those abs like what i mean by contract and squeeze the abs is to make it like you're flexing those ab muscles or not make it actually flex them that's going to increase tension and guys i love this workout weighted abs if you want to get your abs to show you need to build them the same way you build everything else and that's by using weights you need to use weighted abs weighted rows weighted twists you'll see me do different ab workouts with weight because i want to build those muscles i want those muscles to show through the skin i want them to pop and i want to give them definition and that's how you do that this is a really good finisher i love finishing with abs and that was the end of the workout.
See, it didn't take long. It didn't take long on camera, like editing and stuff. But the workout did take a little bit longer uh, than that. But, guys, if y'all have any questions, let me know down in the comment section down below. Like I said, you can find the Gravity Room. There is a playlist for the Gravity Room workouts. Uh, in it, it's, it's titled Gravity Room. All right. Um, the thing that I would say, if you're getting back into the gym or if you're just trying to work out for whatever reason, be it sports, athletics, personal development or whatever guys it, it goes the same way with youtube it goes the same way consistency is key you have to be consistent and you're not going to see results overnight you know same way with youtube you're not going to see i'm not going to say you're not going to see success overnight because there's been people who went viral overnight but you know consistency is key you know it didn't if, if you're overweight or something like that or if you don't have muscle oh being overweight stuff like that or having a little bit more weight than what you want guys you got to think about this that body you didn't build that body overnight it took some time to build it so it's going to take some time to change it but consistency is key and once you get into a rhythm and keeping your mind busy with other things like reading self-development watching the youtube channel and subscribing by the way if you haven't then you will you'll look up and two or three weeks will be gone and you'll start to see some results. Like if you're doing the things right, controlling the weight and not just moving the weight, bench press, just bouncing it up and down. No, control the weight and contract those muscles. And I guarantee you within two weeks, you're going to see some results. You're going to see either it's either going to start in gains in your strength level, which I guarantee you that's going to happen. But then you're going to start seeing some of the physical changes as well. And when you start to see that, that gives you motivation to continue to push on and do better. Guys, turn on notifications if you haven't so you don't miss a single upload for the Gravity Room, for the Kakarot videos, for the, all the content that we have coming. Like I said, I'm in a trial phase with the channel. I'm trying to see if we can make all of this stuff work on the same channel. If not, then I will have to create separate channels, which is not a problem. You just have to go through that growth process again. But guys, that's all I have for right now. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.